Hello LEGO fans, Jarf Bricks here with another update. As you can see, I have completed my Wayne Manor mock. If you've been following me on Instagram, you would have seen the various stages of progress that I made. Um, the rockery or the mountain, should I say, at the bottom as the base. Uh, it took me a while to get that right, to get the size right. Um, but I'm really pleased with the way it turned out. I used the road plates as the drives, which I'll show you in a minute. So let me just get you closer to it. So here you can see how I've used those slopes that came with the new road sets um, to gradually build up to the height of the uh, manor, uh, making a driveway um, and using the trees as well that came with those road plates. As you can see, I've used a ton of cheese wedges and slopes in various shades of dark gray and light gray, um, moving through to the front of the house. I did do the gate, but I've only got one um, with a W on the front there as well. So I need to order another one. Here we've got Alfred and Bruce just about to go for a drive. And here you can see the different techniques that I've used to uh, make the building so as you can see it's got various degrees of depth I'll, go, I'll show you a little tutorial on how I did that in a moment because I've had people asking me on Instagram uh, you can see there's a few gaps where I'm just missing some uh, one by one flat tiles like that one there but they are on their way uh, from Bricklink and I will be putting them in when they arrive so I just wanted to make it look fancy and gothic which using these little, um, I always forget what they're called, the little tower pillar things they use for telescopes and things. Uh, under Bricklink, incidentally, you will find them under minifig and utensils, because it took me ages to find them. But there they are, so I've got more on the way as well, just to finish that off. As you can see, it's a facade, there's no background uh, on it. So um, you can see the lights coming through the window. Uh, but going underneath the mountain, what have we got? That's right, the back cave. So here, it's um, you've seen this before, I started that in January, with now got the mountain and the manor on top. It's been a long project that I've been doing and I did stop to do the police station in the middle. Uh, but here's just a little tutorial on how I did it. So I used approximately about 250 of these modified bricks here. And then I used about, about 150, maybe a bit less of these um, single brick width ones as well and um, just interlocking them like so and then I just tiled them up I got a, um, a bucket of these uh, I forget the color dark orange or something like that in um, uh, the Lego shop I got so I got a bucket full of that color uh, so I was able to use that in this build I was lucky to get that and then but just by putting the plate and then um, getting a dark bluish tile overlapping uh, yes I know the there is a gap there with one by one tile but they are on order um, it just creates a lot of depth and then I'm um, just showing you with these windows here just to show you the different degrees of texture and depth that it creates so you've got different um, shadows being cast and from different angles and it just makes it look really great and that's the essence of um, how I made um, that mock there with just a lot of tiles and a lot of those modified bricks so really pleased with the way it turned out and again just to emphasize the light coming through the windows it does make it a facade it cost a lot to do that building in the first place but to do the backs and the side which i'd never see and um, because it's so big and it's all fixed down i can't even pull it out properly it, did um, come in uh, various pieces which I put together in location so uh, I, I just thought there's no point doing it um, and you can see it sitting under the cave there now and I think it looks really nice so as you can see with the scale of the buildings how um, it's a little bit taller than the hospital next door and the hospital is three four floors floors high Whereas you can see the manor now is only two, yet it's a little bit taller. And that's to just give it the illusion be by putting it on a mountain there. I was really pleased with the, how the um, road came out with using those sloped pieces. 
um, just to make the driveway going up. I don't think it's um, overly big. I did want it to be scaled to the rest of the buildings. I know there are other mocks out there which are just gigantic. They look amazing, but uh, one thing I wanted in my city is for Wayne Manor to be in scale with the other buildings within the city. And I think that looks okay. So thank you for watching. Let us know what you think in the comments below and I'll see you next time. Thank you, goodbye.